today I'm going to do um, Hollywood Diva Season 2, Episode 9, um, The Reunion, Part 1. Sorry this is up late. If you've been following me this week and been watching my videos, you know I have been sick since the blackout. But I'm going to get these videos out. I don't care. Um, we had Carlos King as the host again, like we did last reunion. I like Carlos King as a host because he messy as hell. And, you know, he be knowing some of little insider stuff that we don't know because he's, like, one of the creators of the show. So, um, yeah, if you if you really listen to him when the ladies be arguing, he be saying some shit. And I be like, mm, mm, okay. Um, excuse my hair. Y'all know I don't like to come in on a ponytail, but I'm sick. Um... He introduced the ladies. Even introducing the ladies, he was shady as hell. I was here for it, but he was shady. Um, Golden, she on his green dress, and she, he said, you looking like Forrest. And she was like, Forrest done the right way. I said, yes. Because all the ladies look beautiful. All of them look beautiful in their own way. Um, Countess had on a black and white. They all had on, like, these long dresses. Countess had on a long and white dress. I didn't like Countess' purple hair. Baby girl, we not in Atlanta. I don't, no shade to Atlanta people, but that's where we basically see it from. Not Hollywood. It'd be, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Everybody don't need to rock that purple hair. It just don't fit on everybody. I wasn't here for it. Lisa had an orange. Lisa always looked beautiful to me. Like, she is just beautiful. Um, Paula had on um, a turquoise dress. He called her a flip-flopper. I was laughing because she is. And Elise had on a white outfit. I think she had on a pants outfit. I don't remember. But I know she had on white. And the bitch was talking about, like, an angel. And I was like, who? Where? Whatever. Okay. They talked about... Most of this whole first reunion, they talked about the goddamn White Sisters. I am i don't care. I was over the White Sisters, even on the show, from the first episode of, <laughs> of them talking about the White Sisters. I was over it. Who had the rights? Who was created of the show? Okay. Um... They asked Lisa how did she feel or whatever, and she, you know, she just, you know, she had a problem with all of this. Um, she said, you know, they asked about the Elise backdoor dealing and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, Elise was like, it's a right time, a right place and the right time to bring this up. And I'm with Lisa, like, no, bitch, not when it has to do with m my coins and me feeding my family. She was like, I don't give a damn if we was at church. I'm the same way, so I can't be mad at her, even though I do know, you know, church ain't the place. But I'm that type of person, too. Bitch, if I have a problem with you and that's where I see you at, that's where I'm going to address it at. And you can ask people that know me. And know me from church. I'm that. I'm that person. No shame in my game, bitch. If you say I, I've had this <laughs> encounter. That's why I know. Like I've had the encounter where people think they can say something to me over the phone, and then think that's it. And knowing I'm going to see you at church, and that's going to be the only place I see you. I'm going to address it. I don't give a damn. That's. That's me and God got to deal with that. But I'm just saying. Um, so I'm with that. You fuck with my coins and me feeding my kids, it's, it's a problem. So I'm not with that. Um, then Lisa, I mean, Paula make an accusation and says that Lisa Golden and Elise made a side deal thing they had a meeting and was trying to cut them out i don't know what paula be on especially when all the other girls the one she was accusing was like bitch what's wrong with you what are you talking about we never had no fucking meeting no side deals or whatever like what the fuck are you talking about everybody was looking at her like that even carlos was looking at her like that all that 
And um, she was trying to stick to her guns, but she was making herself look bad. And that was what Lisa was like, bitch, go take your medication. Like, oh my God, Forrest and Paula, they really feed off of each other. And they really both need to get some fucking help. They need to go somewhere and get some help. Um, I don't know if it's rehab. I don't know if it's, a you know, a psych doctor. I don't know. But they feed off each other, and they both fucked up. That's all I know. Um, they talked about, you know, cutting Forrest out. And Golden did say, and, and they, I'm glad they played it back, where she was like, they didn't want to work with him because of the way he treat women and the way, you know, he need anger management. Paula don't want to see that, but your boo do got a problem with women. I don't know if he taking it out on them because he can't with you because you're the breadwinner of the house. But he has a problem with women. He has a problem with the women authority. I don't know what, what his childhood was like. Don't really care. I'm, I'm just saying I really don't. But he has a problem with women. Then they show Countess. And how people talked about her and their confessionals, at least comments, Paula comments, whatever. Um, and her whole body changing. And she said she loves her body. Her body was banging on this reunion. I give her that. I don't know how many courses she had to have on. She was snatched for the gods. I can give her that. Um, but if she loves her body, fuck what everybody else say. She made allude to, like, she's seen Ray J naked. But I'm like, bitch, you can't say that you seen, make make it seem like you seen him naked like him and then call him your brother. Ew, maybe it was just me. But if I call somebody my brother, I don't want to visualize or anything like that. Of No, that's nasty. Maybe... I don't know, Hollywood, whatever. Um, but Elise did apologize for what she said and how it was taken um, of what she said about Countess. Golden apologized for, you know, bringing it back to her. She said it wasn't, she wasn't bringing it back to her like that. She was just shocked when she saw Countess and from what? At least said, said kind of was different, so she was a little shocked about it. But maybe she shouldn't have went back and said anything to her or whatever. I agree with that. Um, then they had um, they talked about the whole Tom Joyner Cruise thing. They brought Char out, Charlotte the beautiful as usual. She said she bonded with Lisa more than anybody on the show, I think. Um, so that was cool because, you know, they had their friction. They talked about that. She she sticked to her fucking guns. Like, bitch, I didn't know her credits. I should have did my homework on her, but I didn't know my credits. They spoke on that. Countess say how she told her she was wrong. They moved on from it. I'm fit to move on from it because it wasn't like no beef. So they cool now. Um, she understood where Golden was coming from as far as, you know, going to bat for Lisa and coming at her, talking about she only worked on Moesha, whatever. They got past that. Hey. Um, the shade room, Camila, she asked a question as far as, you know, plastic surgery and Paula having plastic surgery and being the originator of the plastic butt injections, whatever. So she admitted to it, but then Countess start making accusations like I've done it before her and I had it 10 years ago. And I'm sitting there like, so you competing on plastic surgery on who had it first? Like this, not a whatever. I don't know what you was trying to say, or I don't get where that conversation was going. If y'all do. No, I was going to tell y'all, let me know in the comment section, but I really don't care. But I just was like, why are you competing with our, her over who had plastic surgery first? Who's the originator of plastic fucking surgery and butt injections and legal injections? Because the bitch did say they was in legal um, procedures. So, I don't know why y'all want to be first. Um, Paula being called out on being a flip-flopper from him, um, from... What's his name? Carlos or whatever. And then they bring up the whole witch deal. And they argued about that. 
And Paula is going to lie till she blew in the face. We all know that Countess brought that up. But she's going to bring up that they had this planned out two years ago or whatever. Three years ago or whatever. I didn't care. I didn't care. Then I will say, as far as the White Sisters, I do remember Paula bringing a script to the ladies. But when you brought the scripts to the ladies, I do remember everybody revising the script and making it their own with their own characters. So I can get what Paula is saying as far as she brought a script. But Paula, you have to remember, after you bought that script, it was more meetings after that. And what the ladies are saying is true. They brought who their characters they wrote about their characters and y'all brought them to life so you did wasn't the originator of their characters you probably originator of the 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 title of it or whatever but everybody played a part in this damn show and you can't keep saying it was you in force first of all the shit don't even look like it was going to be that good so i will just count my motherfucking losses and say y'all can have this shit I don't see it going nowhere. First of all, give it to them. And then say, well, I don't sign off as far as y'all releasing this because I don't sign, I don't think my, you know, I don't want to be put out there like that or I don't know what kind of paperwork they all signed or what nobody thinking to sign no paperwork. I don't know. But I'll be like, okay, y'all can have it, but y'all can't use it without me signing off of using my image and my character on TV. Or I don't understand, like, did y'all sign off already for it and y'all just want money? I, I don't know. I don't get it. But they argued the whole fucking time. Unnecessary. Didn't care. Um, Even when Paula and... Countess was going at it about it. And Forrest was putting his two cents in from the from the floor. I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, these are two women talking, and you putting your fucking two cents in it? Shut up. Um, I do like how Countess put it out there. Like, I don't trust her. And then Paula gonna try to play the victim for me. She don't like me. She never liked me. Bitch, do you see yourself? Do you understand what you do? Why people don't like you or care for you? Come on. Um, the audience named Tara asked the question is for is how do they deal with the world's comments? And they just basically said you have a thick skin. And I'm, I'm here for that. Even whatever you do entertainment wise, you have to have thick skin because people come at you. So, yeah. Um, so then they bring up Rashawn and Forrest. And they're talking about, again, who created it versus... Um, work for hire, and Lisa was basically like, if we would have knew what, you know, that's what he was doing, then we would have looked more into it, you know, they thought they were doing a work for hire, they didn't think that he was being a creator, and Paula always kept on saying, yeah, for me and Forrest created this show, and, you know, Golden was like, well, what did you need us for, and Paula never answered that fucking question, um, she was like, you guys are trying to defame my character. Y'all defamed y'all character by y'all goddamn self. Y'all did not need no help with that. Y'all defamed y'all character, y'all damn self. And then, <laughs> I even liked how, I don't know if it was Rashawn or one of the ladies was over there, um, making comments about them being blackballed. I was rolling. Um, but Carlos even was saying how the other ladies were involved. And, you know, Paula kind of got a little offended by him saying that. But I was like, well, bitch, maybe he knows some insider shit that we don't know about. Um, she Paula going to say they were consultants on the White Sisters. I said, well, damn. Like, Paula be changing her mind and stories and all that. And at least over there laughing and I mean just sitting there taking it all in because at least don't give a fuck about none of these other ladies. It's all about making money. She don't give a fuck how she make it. If it's with Forrest and Paula if she can make some coins off of it, that's cool. If it's all the ladies in there, it's cool. That's how at least she don't really want to be these ladies' friends. None of that. Um 
when they was talking about the consultants and all that stuff and who wrote what and whatever, and Countess was like, well, yeah, we all have to write our stories because you guys thought that I wouldn't, a football player wouldn't be attracted to me, and I had to write that in for my damn self because a football player would be attracted to me. And I was like, Ooh. but she was making a, like, little side comment, so if you really wasn't paying her no attention, that would have went over people's head. Um, then Paula was like, I brought, um, what she say? I brought my husband to write y'all some dope ass roles, and I'm like, I'm not. Drugs, drugs have fucked them up. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, they asked for us about registering the White Sisters, and he said he registered that last year or whatever, whatever. I'm like, you a fucking lie. You registered as soon as the shit was probably finished or y'all said y'all was doing it so you can get paid. I don't, I just don't trust Forrest and Paula being underhand, underhanded and being sneaky with these women. I don't trust them. I think they knew what they were doing. And I think this is why they probably was blackballed. I really, really do. My son just walked in the house and he wasn't supposed to be here. But I'll deal with that in a minute. I'll deal with you in a minute. Um, I thought I was having a weekend of myself. Um, anyway, what else happened? I had to look at the time and see what time he came in the house so I can check his ass real quick. Um, so anyway, they got on Rashawn and Paula and Forrest and her calling him girl, and he kind of was trying to say sorry, I guess, for calling her a bitch, and he was kind of, you know, saying his mom watched this, his niece, and gonna watch this, and all that kind of stuff, but then they start, I don't know, they just was bickering, so you can't understand when everybody is talking, over-talking everybody, that's the only thing I don't like about Carlos, is like, you can't get in control with your motherfucking people, because they all was talking over everybody, and it's like, Y'all making my head hurt. I'm already sick. I y'all making my head hurt. Um somehow Golden and Paula was going at it. I don't know how. I don't know why. But I know that bitch told her she looked cheap and she looked like she could be standing on the corner and I was laughing. But I was like, no, nah, boo boo, her dress is cute. I give her her looks is cute because she was talking about your panties you just showing. And I'm like, bitch, why are you up? It's somebody in between, y'all. So how the fuck you see her panties? <sighs> hey, I don't know. You're looking too fucking hard. Mm. But anyway, when that bitch Paula said... Who she said, I told her she'd be having an emotional outburst, but she was like, Don't fuck, don't what she say, don't come for me without a condom. I will fuck, what she say, I will fuck the shit out of you. I think that's what she said. I said, I don't know why people be. I don't know if the producers was like, bitch, turn up every chance you can, but we gonna make you look ignorant. We gonna make you look like you need some medication. We are gonna make you look as dumb as possible. And she was like, okay, I'm on board for this. Because I was just like, why are these emotional outbursts coming on? Your husband is pumping you up with this shit. I don't know. That's my review, guys, on Hollywood Divas. I'm sorry. I'm sick. And I don't have time for this. I really, really don't. I try. I, I try. I just really try. I just don't have time for this. I'm over it. I'm going to try to do the part two when it come out. But I'm so over this petty bullshit. I really am. Um, And when you're sick, you really be over petty bullshit. So that's my review for Hollywood Divas Season 2, Episode 9, Reunion Part 1. Hopefully I'll feel better before this weekend is over with so I can keep on coming with the videos. But, um, yeah, follow me on social media. Everything I do is by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, I'm your girl, Miss Nika, and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace out.